right y'all we're at i pull you pull at a local junkyard trying to find a bumper for our truck for our 92 found this candidate a 93 f-150 all right got me a front bumper couldn't get me a rear one but got me a front bumper couldn't get me a rear one rear one <laughs> got me a front bumper couldn't get me a back one so <laughs> can't say rear rear but anyways got me a front bumper for the truck so you that's do it just to say <laughs> but you got me a got me one part so it's good so one part at a time one part at a time all right forgive me for blinding y'all but got a little too late because it is winter so so basically got the new bumper um there's only four screws that you have to unscrew for the bumper it's pretty easy pretty simple but i think i think i haven't shown you guys old timer yet but this is old timer bad hell yeah and that's my 1992 ford f-150 lariat see so get the back view you know what i mean get the back view you gotta appreciate that old school look a 92 a 2019 i got this truck for 450 bucks you can't beat that a good working truck for 450 bucks there's four screws right there one two there's one on the other side right there and that's it pretty simple Yep, just go ahead and screw these four screws. Oops. <laughs> Got the crap fall in my mouth. <laughs> Shit! Go ahead up the other side so it'll be flush. Um, the reason why I bought this, my old bumper right there, pretty dented. It wasn't flush with the frame of the vehicle, so that's why. Brian right there playing with my rod <laughs> so just getting done screwing in the other side but just getting nice and tight or we can't go anymore and this is a size 17 and there we go no more sag before this used to be sagging you have a crazy dent right here on this side and eh, still a little sag uh, that's because that's because this part is all messed up right here it got hit I'm, I'm not sure what the hell happened but it looked like the previous owner smacked something on this side this is broken this is broken the inside of this is all broken but yeah that's we're gonna handle that later. have any tips on how to fix this just let me know in the comments Brian is saying is it the bracket I'm thinking it's a bracket too it was in the like it looks like like I said it was in the collision or something it's previous owner hit something but I don't like how this is gapped out like it's just like almost like a two and a half inch by a two inch gap that side should look like this side All right, good morning y'all it's the next day i just figured out a way how to um actually fix that gap in the bumper i uh, went onto the forums uh ford forums i've seen a lot of people i've seen a lot of people <clears throat> have the same situation same uh gap issue see for reference i could feel like almost three fingers of uh, almost four fingers in here compared 
to this. I could fit two. But which are right. I figure out a way to fix it. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and get a haircut because my boy needs a haircut. And uh head to Home Depot to get some washers. The washers are key to fix that. Hopefully it works. Uh that's what I read. They use people use washers. Uh I'll show you guys the process how how washers help. But I'm just cross my fingers that sh that works. So yeah. All right, I got three different size washers. I'm oh, my new puppy. <laughs> Come here, Barley. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi, bud. Come here. <laughs> Girl and our dog. You gonna help daddy with his truck? Yeah. Help daddy with his truck? Yeah? There you go. You got the tools. Yeah. No? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hey. <laughs> okay. Get off. Thank you. All right. I basically did the same thing. I I took it off. See, there's still there's still a gap here. Remember that three finger gap? It's now a two finger. I totally forgot that this is actually cricket because it got hit too. But this is still one finger. I wish I could raise that part up more. All right, same thing like I said earlier. I went to go ahead and put three washers right here, tighten up the bottom one, and uh, it decreased the gap, the sagging. Ah! I'm trying to fix the track. Barley. All right, there it is, guys. Fix the sagging part, ignore this. That's because, like I said, the previous owner got smacked on the side, so. Did reduce the sagging. So that washer trick that I learned did help a lot. Before I was able to fit like three, almost four fingers. Did minor tweaks, straighten up my bumper. Could only fit one finger. See? So if that helps you guys out, let me know. Alright you guys, if this video helped you guys out a lot, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys like to see next. Or have any questions. Uh, let me know what mods you guys want to see next on this truck and the old, uh, on this old truck and the new truck. Um, that this bumper fix was a simple, was a little side project I wanted to do for a while now, and um, if that helped you out, the little washer trick thingy, uh, like I said, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, also consider subscribe, subscribing. I also have a link down below to my vlogging channel. Uh, that's where me, my my wife, my kids do little adventures, fishing. Yeah, I'll leave that link down below. Uh, Go ahead to that go to that channel and do this show me some love there as well uh i'm trying to grow this channel i've been wanting to do a uh, truck channel for a while now so maybe when summer comes around the corner i'm gonna go to a bunch of truck uh, truck meets a bunch of local car meets uh we'll see see what the future holds for this channel i'll see y'all in the next one peace out y'all